No matter how hard you try, you can't stop us now. ROH Renegade. I am longtime Ring of Honor fan, Robert. Final Manhattan Mayhem 5 is now in the books, and what a great show it was last night from the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City. The show began with uh, Silas Young defeating Adam Page in a great opening matchup, which saw both these guys display a lot of promise and potential. Hopefully they'll bo both be brought back in the future. In a scramble tag team match, CNC Wrestle Factory, everybody wrestle now, no pun intended. That's uh, Caprice Coleman and Cedric Alexander. They defeated Adrenaline Rush, ACH, and Tadarius Thomas. In a Proving Grounds match, which was also non-title, television champion Matt Taven defeated No Fear Mike Mondo in a pretty good matchup. In another tag match, Forever Hooligans, Alex Kozlov and Rocky Romero defeated the Young Bucks, Nick and Matt Jackson, a very good tag match. Great to see Forever Hooligans get the win. Then they went to intermission, and during intermission they played a lot of um, former Ring of Honor stars' uh, entrance themes, which got the crowd popping a little bit. Um, from there, QT Marshall and R.D. Evans, collectively known as Marshall Law, come to the ring, and I think the fans drowned out their uh, promo. Eventually, the new uh, talent scout of Ring of Honor, Prince Nana, who commentated the show with Kevin Kelly, stood up and said he signed two guys for for the show. And one guy came through the crowd wearing a mask, and one guy came through the curtain wearing a mask. They attacked Evans and Marshall, took their masks off. It was none other than Homicide and Eddie Kingston. And that led up to Homicide and Eddie Kingston defeating R.D. Evans and Q.T. Marshall. Then, in the uh, tournament match to crown new world champion, Sicilian psychopath Tommaso Ciampa defeated uh, Mike Bennett, minus Maria, and minus Spoodle Bob Evans. In a battle of former world champions, Mr. Wrestling Kevin Steen defeated Roderick Strong to advance in the uh, world title tournament. Unbreakable Mike, from there, Unbreakable Michael Elgin defeated um, the Machine Gun, Carl Anderson, to advance in the World Title Tournament. Definitely a great match on those two bars. My first opportunity seeing Carl Anderson live. Then in the main event, Red Dragon, Bobby Fish, and Kyle O'Reilly defeated the American Wolves, Eddie Edwards, and Davey Richards to become the new Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. After the match ended, a homicide Eddie Kingston attacked Red Dragon, and then Homicide took the microphone and said that Ring of Honor has become a corporation, and the only way to take a corporation down is to become a corporation yourself, and Homicide declared himself and Kingston will now collectively be known as Outlaws Inc. Personal notes, it was great sitting with Randy, Lee, and Carlos for this uh, great show. Uh, I noticed uh, PWS superfan Clark Cornwell in the crowd, uh, Sean Connor, a.k.a. Unofficial Artist, was also in the crowd. In my opinion, that guy is a great A ham. Uh, from there, crap. I noticed former Ring of Honor world champion Xavier was in the crowd in attendance for this show. Um, this certainly was a great show, not a bad match, considering the fact right now Ring of Honor has no world champion. Uh, J. And Mark Briscoe went out there, no Matt Hardy, and a lot of guys, I guess, are not on the roster anymore. And this is just my first Ring of Honor show since last year's final battle. Speaking of final battle, big surprise, folks. Ring of Honor returns to the Hammerstein Ballroom for Final Battle 2013 on Saturday, December 14th, which happens to be five days before my birthday. I noticed that there was one guy who basically sucks John Cena's cock and balls, and he was in the showing off his spinner belt. I mean, I don't know why we why we got these John Cena. John Cena lovers coming into Ring of Honor. I mean, they're going to get drowned out by the fans anyway. I just don't understand that. Stop, people, stop dressing like John Cena, Cena at the shows. Nobody cares about that guy at Ring of Honor.
I didn't appreciate uh, the two ladies that were in Matt Taven's corner. The fans of chance she's got herpes at them. How would you? How would you? How would you pervert? No. How would you guys know? Have you actually seen it? Some people, some wrestling fans have no life, ladies and gentlemen. Man. Just when I have doubts on, on, on wrestling sometimes, it's always a show I go to. It just gets me, gets me thrilled again, and this was one of them. ROH Manhattan Mayhem 5 was great. All together now! R-O-H! R-O-H! R-O-H!